Welcome to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics Textbook by S. Timishanko and B. H. Eng. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.4 and problem number 2.44. Find the magnitude and direction of the force F to be added to the system of coplanar concurrent force shown in the figure to maintain the equilibrium. So this is the problem of equilibrium, not to find the resultant. So please make a note before going to the solution of the problem. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 forces. All forces are meeting at a particular point. 7 forces are acting on the system. Our interest is to find how much force we need to apply on the system, in what direction we need to apply so that the total system is under equilibrium. For that, first we will try to find the resultant of all these forces. So there are seven forces as we discussed. So let us take force by force. So first I have drawn a separate XY plane. First, I will start with 30 kN. 30 kN force is acting along x-axis. So, we need not to resolve that 30 kN force is acting along x-axis only. There is no y component. Now, 25 kN force is acting in this direction. So, 25 kN force is acting in this direction. Along so we need to resolve this force. So one component of the force will be like this. Another component of the force will be like this. This makes an angle 45. Hence, so this becomes horizontal component becomes cos component 25 cos 45 and vertical component becomes sine 45. This is 25 sine 45. Hence, I can write x axis component 25 cos 45 y axis component 25 sin 45 this is downwards and this is towards left side next let us take the 20 kN force 20 kN force acts along y axis in the downward direction hence 20 kN force can be drawn directly there is no x component of this 20 kN force Next, 15 kN force makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal. So, I can resolve this force along x-axis and along y-axis. So, this x-axis component becomes 15 cos 60 because this makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal and the vertical component becomes sin 15 sin 60. So, this is 15 cos 60 and this is 15 sin 60. Next force is 10 kN, 10 kN force is acting along x-axis. So there is no vertical component of this 10 kN, 10 kN will be like this. Next force is 60 kN force makes an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal. So you can resolve this force along x-axis and y-axis like this. And this x-axis component is 60 into cos 30, the y-axis component is 60 into sin 30. Hence, I can write this is 60 cos 30 and this is 60 sin 30. The last force is 50 kN which makes an angle 30 degrees with the x-axis. Hence, the x-axis component is cos component 50 cos 30. Y-axis component is 50 sin 30. Hence, you can say this is 50 cos 30. Hence, it is 50 sin 30. That means all the given forces we have resolved along x-axis and y-axis. So these are the various forces resolved along x-axis and y-axis. Now our interest is to find the uh, uh, resultant force first. So to find the resultant force, uh, first of all, let us find the net force along x-axis. So here there are two forces acting towards right side and there are four forces acting towards left side. I will take this side is my positive direction. Then I can say 30 plus 43.33 remaining all others are negative forces. So minus 52, minus 10, minus 17, point, uh, minus 7.5, minus 17.7 which gives the value of minus 13.9 kN. So net force is negative that means it is towards left side. 
Similarly, net to force along y axis. There is only one force acting in the upward direction remaining. All other forces are acting in the downward direction. I will take this side is my positive direction. So, net force along y axis is 13 minus 17.7 7, minus 20 minus 30 minus 25, which gives the value of minus 79.7 kilonewtons. That means the net force is also acting in the downward direction because it is minus. Hence, you can see, so the net force along x-axis is towards left side, net force along y-axis is towards downwards. So, these magnitudes are 13.9, 79.7. Hence, the resultant force is root of fx square plus fy square. So, you can substitute the values, you got 80.9 kilonewtons. And the angle made by the resultant force is sigma fy by sigma fx, which gives the value of 5.73 or alpha is equal to 80.1 degree. But this is in the third quadrant because x-axis is negative, y-axis is negative. So plus 180, so this is 260.1 degrees. This is my resultant force whose magnitude is 80.9 and makes an angle of 80.1. This is my resultant force. But my interest is to find the equilibrium force. The always the equilibrium force is opposite to the resultant force. The equilibrium force is always opposite to the resultant force but magnitude is same. Hence, the magnitude is same. The resultant force is 80.9 kilonewtons. Hence, the equilibrium force is also equals to 80.9 kilonewtons. But the direction is opposite. Direction is opposite means, so 260.1 degree minus 180. Opposite side means, means minus 180, which is the value of 80.9 degrees. Hence, this is my result equilibrium force, 80.9 kilonewtons, which makes an angle of 80.1 kilonewtons.